Hi, Brent Tech here, with Tech is Made Simple. Windows 11 is scheduled for an official rollout and release in October of this year, 2021. And with the rollout of Windows 11, we will also have similar editions available that are currently found in Windows 10. So as an example, you will still be getting Windows 11, Home, Pro, and so on. And over on the Servicing Timeline webpage in the Microsoft Docs, um, basically Microsoft has said that the Windows 11 Home Edition will not support the deferral. That means the postponement of feature updates. And this means that Microsoft will force feature updates to PCs running Windows 11 Home to a new version of Windows 11. And this will happen if the installed Windows 11 Home version has reached the end of support or its life cycle. Now, over on the webpage, Lifecycle frequently asks questions regarding Windows. This page was updated on the 24th of June, 2021. That was the same day that Microsoft officially announced Windows 11. And we just scroll down to the section pertaining to Windows 11. What is the servicing timeline for a version feature update of Windows 11? And it says new versions of Windows 11 will be released once per year. And I have posted a video on this previously where as opposed to Windows 10, where we get uh, two feature updates to the operating system per year, you will only be getting one feature update to Windows 11 per year. And then we have Edition Servicing Timeline. Yeah, we have Windows 11 Enterprise Editions. And yeah, we have the Windows 11 Pro Editions. And at the bottom, we have Windows 11 Home. Now, this actually says Windows 10, but this is a typo. This is just a typing mistake. That should actually say Windows 11 Home. And yeah, we can see for Windows 11 Enterprise Editions, you will, and Education Editions, you will be getting 36 months of support and updates from the release date of that version. And for Windows 11 Pro Editions and the Home Edition, you will be getting 24 months of support and updates from Microsoft um, from the release date of that particular version. Now, regarding Windows 11 Home, this small print at the bottom says home edition does not support the deferral of feature updates and will therefore typically receive a new version of windows 11 prior to the end of servicing date shown so what this means basically in a nutshell to summarize is that in windows 11 uh, enterprise and education editions and the windows 11 pro editions once that version of windows reaches its end of support its end of uh, its end of its life cycle and doesn't receive any more updates from microsoft you won't be forced to update to a new feature update or a new version of windows 11. but if you are running windows 11 home and your life cycle for that version and your support ends for that version microsoft will force you to uh, update to a new feature update and new version of windows 11 home and what I will do is I will leave a link to this web page down below and where you can go check out all the information um, regarding the uh, servicing timeline for Windows, um, particularly Windows 11. And yeah, we can see Windows 10 is just below and it's exactly the same as Windows 10 Home where the Windows Home Edition does not support the deferral of feature updates. So Microsoft is just carrying on the same um, with Windows 11 Home as it did in Windows 10. And yeah, we can see that Windows 10 gets 18 months of support from the release date of a particular version, as opposed to the new uh, 36 months for enterprise and education and 24 months uh, for pro and home. And I have also mentioned that in a previous video. So I just wanted to let you know that um, Windows 11 home, once that version uh, reaches its end of support, you will be forced by Microsoft to do a new feature update to a new version. So I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.